this is Bobby Shivasta. In our previous session, we discussed how to create a car type page in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. Today, we'll be creating a list page and see how we can connect it to the card page. So to start with creating a new page, as discussed earlier, we go to Tools, Object Designer, and then click on Page, and then click New. We will, we can either create a blank page or create a page using a wizard. But on this this occasion, we will create a blank page. So we on the table there's the assist button we select customer again create a blank page and say ok you can see that we have a new screen for page designer we go to view properties and see the page type property now this we have to change it to list in this instance and on the if we another property so this is the page type property which we have changed to list so whenever we creating the list type pages we always change the page type property to list there's another property called card page ID you can specify the card page that we created which was 50,002 in our previous session which is the customer card page ID so we come out of it I will tell you why we have done that uh, like later now we come out of the properties window now on the first row in the name column we put customer list container you can put whatever you like and we leave the type and subtype as default now on the second row in the name column we enter customer list group on the type column we select group and on subtype we select repeater please listen carefully here uh, that we have selected type as group which was same what we did in the car type page but on the subtype in the car type page we had group as default but here we are selecting repeater repeater means it will go in the loop for the customer records on the same page and that's why we have selected repeater here now on the third row we have by default field and if we go to field menu either through the toolbar or go to to view field menu now you can select the fields which you like in in this instance we select number name address city phone number now if you click on the page designer screen it will ask you do you want to add the fields that are selected in the field menu and you press ok and you will see that all the fields have been populated on the page designer now finally we save this page so go to file 
save as give a number in 50,000 range 50,000 and we call it as a K2 customer list we leave the compile tick on so that if there is any error it will tell us now so we press ok and that saves the object now for running if you see that it has created k2 customer list it's good to give the version number and now if you run the k2 customers list so that you can see in the role to record how it looks like so select k2 customer list and press on run it takes a minute or two to open the rotor client if it is not already there okay so here is the list that we just created so you can see that unlike customer card it gives you a row rows of customers so we added number name address city and phone number you can always there's a filter here where you can always put in like if you know what number you want to filter on like for put 0144 here and enter it will give you that customer so you can clear the filter from here and also I can show you that the fields that you have used on the list so if you want to filter on name you can filter on name address city or phone number so whichever you select you will okay. click on view and it gives you if you remember we put on the properties of the page properties of the customer k2 customer list we put the card page ID as 5002 which was the K2 customer card and that was because when you click on view the customer card that it will show you what was selected so if you remember on the first session we created this K2 customer card and which can be opened by going on to any of the customer and click on view uh, so this brings to the end of this session I'll come up with more uh, page designing and other topics uh, bye for now see you in next session thank you